A very special thanks, uh, particularly to our international guests who have flown in to be with us on this uh, eighth milestone anniversary of this wonderful event that we hold every year this year in uh, the Little Red Dot, as it's so fondly called in Singapore. Uh, my name is Jay Frame. I have the great honour of being the Vice President of Corporate Communications for DFS. I hope to meet as many of you as I can throughout the rest of uh, this afternoon and this evening. For those of you who are new to Masters of Wines and Spirits, uh, this is, as I said, our annual event where we proudly unveil our curation of more than 140 masterpieces from 60 of the world's most legendary wines and spirits houses, many of which are one of a kind, bespoke or highly collectible. Tim Gunn, our master of whiskey, Sarah Burgess from the Macallan as master of malt, Fabrice Papin of Chateau Lafitte Rothschild as master of wine, Here to the Ueno of Bar High Five as master of cocktails. Good thing I saw you coming in just then. Consolation Vintage 1973 Drinking Cabinet. The Dalmore has long mastered the art of multi-cask maturation, selecting the finest casks from all the bodegas and wineries from around the world. An excellent example here is the Constellation Vintage 1973. It was first matured for 32 years in an American white oak cask, followed by three years in a hand-picked Cabernet Sauvignon wine berry from the prestigious Chateau Haute Mabuse. From that cask, it derives some very delicious notes of grapes, cranberries, and black cherries. After that, it is refined in three years in a small batch Kentucky bourbon barrel. Now, if you'd like to savor this liquid with your friends, if you'd like to share, this is the drinking cabinet that the master distiller, Mr. Richard Patterson, has commissioned especially for this event. The bottle is hand-signed, comes with a handwritten note from the distiller himself, and exclusively produced for DFS Masters of Wine and Spirits. There are only three sets of these available. So please take your photos if you'd like, and I'd like to walk you through the second product when you're ready. And nuttiness, as well as a whiff of sea air because of its coastal location. This 39-year-old Spanish octave finish is the first in what we call, what we call the Bunahaban Elemental series. It was aged for 39 years in a charred oak cask before being finished for six months in a Spanish sherry octave. And that's why from the cask it derives some very rich flavors of dark chocolate, coffee, as well as its signature nuttiness. If you'll notice, the shape of the decanter is actually very interesting. It was inspired by the waves that crash upon the bays of Buna Haven. And um, there are only 35 of these produced in the world right now. Created um, to produce some Scottish style single malts that were matured predominantly in sherry cask. These malts were then used in blends, which were more popular in Japan at the time. However, in 2000, the distillery closed down because of a downturn in the whiskey industry. And since then, all the stock equipment has been sold and the buildings were raised to the ground. Its international popularity actually only began in 2007 when independent bottlers started bottling their casks and exporting them to Europe. And with that, a lot of the whiskey connoisseurs around the world have been amazed by the maturity and complexity of this liquid. Of course, because production ceased in 2000, liquid has been drying up everywhere, so it is very rare to find this brand except in auctions. What we're looking at here is the crowning cask number 5038. It is possibly the last ever Karizawa cask that will be bottled in Japan. We're very honored to have it here with us today. It is aged for 23 years in a Japanese red wine cask that's made from French oak. And from this cask, you see a beautiful amber tone, and from that, a unique complexity and richness that a red wine cask imparts. Only 124 bottles have been produced in the world and they're all exclusively available at DFS Masters of Wines and Spirits. McAllen, uh, as you know, I'm Sarah Burgess, whiskey maker for McAllen. Um, we don't have very long, so I'm going to try my best to use as few words as possible and stay to the point, and it's not my specialty. Um, I'm sure you will agree we've got a very impressive room here running on the back there for those of you that have not been fortunate enough to come and visit the distillery you will be able to see how the new McAllen distillery looks as opened in 2018. Today as always we've got many amazing products from McAllen. The two areas I'd like to talk to you guys about 
is our Fine and Rare Decades collection and of course the Genesis 72. So what you can see here is our Fine and Rare Decades collection. So we have a whiskey representing each of the decades from 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s and 70s. What the Fine and Rare range does for Macallan is it represents our amazing natural colour product. And you can see across these whiskies. What you also find with the Fine and Rare is that people will connect to those because of either the bottling here, the bottling release or the distillation here. So they've got their own special story, each one of them very representative of their age. Okay. I think when we talk about age, it's really a nice slide to move over to our 72 year old. Which is ever to be bottled. It's bottled in Lalique, and that is in, in my opinion, the most beautiful glassware in the world and in this fantastic presentation case. Unfortunately for any of you that were interested in purchasing it, this, un this has already gone and coming with that price is a fabulous experience to come to the Macallan. So the purchaser will be lucky to come to the distillery and spend one and a half fabulous days at the distillery for a truly memorable experience. The whiskey itself, I've been very lucky to have sampled it on more than one occasion. You can taste the age, the richness, the depth, the oak, the peat. The, I, I genuinely could just keep going because the flavours are absolutely phenomenal. Um, Unfortunately, I will not be sharing it with anyone today. <laughs> so, unless the purchaser is going to open it and let you try it, you'll be out of luck. From the House of Mattel, this is called the Mattel Melusine. The old DV is distilled back in 1898. So, a very special piece that is only at DFS and created only for us, for MOWS. Only one piece in the world, so please feel free. So this is the very first cognac that created the Medicinum in Crystal. So the Crystal is blown by the Maison Baccarat. It takes 20 craftsmen, the master craftsmen, to actually create this beautiful piece. This actually comes with a case with 8 crystal glass, as well as a tasting plate, and also the um, pipettes that do the pouring. And on top of this, um, when the customer purchases this product, they actually get a private tour to Konya. So the other two litre format, this is actually only four ever produced. This is from Kamu, the Exo Bordery single estate, from the very own family private estate. Um, this craft, wood craft, is specially made for this event, for MOWS and for DFS. So, Please feel free to take photos. Wines, it is one of the most enjoyable area of the whole venue because you can see the big bar is here. You get to see the products really closely. You can take pictures wherever you like. There's no glass cover, so no reflections. You got to taste it because you see the handsome bartender is already well. It is handpicked by Dr. Bill, who is the director of the Stille Whiskey, uh, Whiskey Creations and Whiskey Stock, basically the big boss of Glamour Energy. He picked this because it really expressed the Glamour Energy style. It is very smooth, it is very, with a, a very complex in terms of palette. Um, he invites you to cast. The first one is white, uh, American white bourbon cast. The second one is Oloroso Sherry. So this gives a toffee note to it and also a fruity, so it's a different layers of flavor. And um, it is it has been matured for 14 years old. So 14 years. So another kind of apart from single cast, we do have some very interesting but more under the radar yet yeah, tastes very nicely whiskey. For example, the Garvin Platon Steel 28 year old. You might have not heard of this brand because they are used to be one of the brand blends for grants. So they are owned by real grants and sons. They have uh, they use this their whiskey to blend for grants or some other blends under William Grants and Son. And few years ago the William Grants and Son decided to put it as a standalone brand, as a single grain whiskey. You have always heard of single malt, but single grain 
green is actually using uh, wheat or greens that are other than water body. So for gerber, they use wheat. So it comes in a light purple, more clean, more creamy mouthfeel. So suitable for women. So and we have still a lot of great whiskeys to explore, like the Diageo Game of Thrones set. I'm sure you have heard of it or seen it in other media. So it is a really collectible series. I still think the finale is coming now. And over there, we have a great selections of all the wines as well. So if you could move on to secretly, privately, under the Master Blender's own private research. And he decided to review it just this year because he find it suddenly tasted and find it oh this birch actually tastes very nice and he decided to launch it with uh, and partner with Malario with the golden plates. So feel free to take a few pictures. Definitely come back to taste other products later on and prepare your pockets. Yeah. Each focusing on different expressions of flavor which our blenders have selected. So some of them are focused on fruity notes, some on smoky, some on the effects of maturation looking at oak. All wonderful and unique in their own distinct way. Each set, each individual one is limited as well. We're also going to be looking at John Walker Blue Label um, Ghost and Rare, Port Ellen. And this is a series which features ghost and rare distilleries, so distilleries which are closed and are no longer producing. Um, at its core it has Port Ellen, which is our closed distillery on Isla, but there are also some wonderful whiskies contained in this blend. Um, Craig and Moore and Mortlach, Del Ewan, to name a few. Some wonderful whiskies in their own right that absolutely shine and combine in this expression. We also have our Kalila 35 year old, which is the oldest expression of Kalila we've ever released as part of our special releases range. This was bottled last year as part of our 2018 special releases selection and is viewed by many as the, the pinnacle of that year's releases. Um, a wonderful, smoky, intense, powerful scotch with beautiful layers of subtlety to it as well. Um, actually one of, one of my absolute favorites. We then also have our Talisker 40 years old. Um, this is a Talisker which has been matured for 40 years and part of that is, involves a secondary maturation in Spanish sherry casks. We know from our archives that Talisker going back even a century was maturing often in Spanish sherry casks. And we actually traced some of the bodegas that supplied those casks to us. And we finished this in um, sherry casks from Bodega Zuleta Delgado. And lastly, the, the pinnacle of our expressions is our Port Ellen 39 years old. Um, this is, as I mentioned earlier, one of our close distilleries on Isla. It's probably, I would say, one of the most sought after single malts in the world. Admired and loved by connoisseurs and aficionados. Uh, this is limited to just 1,500 bottles for the entire world. It is um, the oldest expression of Port Ellen that we as a company have ever released. So I expect it will not be on the shelves for very long. Um, if any of you have any questions, I'd be delighted to answer them, but I think we're running to a fairly tight schedule. So if not now, please do come back and see me. We can chat Scott all day long if you like. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Champagne here at DFS, so welcome. Thank you for your time. Um, I'd love to draw your attention to a couple of kind of favorites of mine amongst this wonderful wine room we have here. Um, so if I can draw your attention actually just over here to this wall, which is our Bordeaux wall. Um, we have a wonderful collection of magnums from Chateau Mouton Rothschild. Um, these are all vintages that rate above the 90 points um, from, from Robert Parker. And one of the unique things, if you don't already know about Mouton, is every year they commission an artist to uh, design the, the labels. And the payment for such is actually a case of wine. So you've got some very famous artists like Miro and Picasso, etc., cetera, um, who have um, kind of adorned these labels. Um, a few other favorites, if we head over this way, we'll go to the Napa Valley. Um, so just up on this wall here. So we have what's called Continuum. Now this is a wine you may not be familiar with, um, but it has a lot of pedigree. It's coming from a, um, a winemaking family called the Mondavis, and they've essentially put the Napa Valley on the map um, from the USA. This is um, a, a continued journey or story of their philosophies and ethos and things that they want to achieve within the Napa. And Tim Mondavi, who's winemaker, used to make wine for Mondavi family as well as Opus One. So um, a very, a, you know, a, accredited um, winemaker. Behind you here, um, we have our oldest bottle this evening, which is an 1888 vintage. 
So we're obviously loving eights this year, being the eighth master of wine and spirits. And this is from Gruyere La Rose, um, and has been released especially from their sellers just for us. So one of the unique things we have um, here at DFS is our partnership across all our chateaus is a direct one. So we work with um, partners like George over here, um, who uh, we work in partnership essentially to source these wines and vintages and back vintages and things that you can enjoy. So we, we kind of do the cellaring work for you. Um, and then up here we have our Penfold Fin 707. This is an Imperial. Uh, it's a 2015 vintage. Uh, it's Cabernet Sauvignon and it's a, a blend of multi-regions, which is what Penfolds do best, um, similar to how they make their Grange. Um, as well as the first time they're offering a five-star experience for four people to McGill Estate, have dinner with Peter Gago, who's their head winemaker, as well as a tour of the, um, of the Rossa Valley, helicopter rides, hot air balloons, so a really unique, one-of-a-kind um, offering. A couple of others um, before I send you is Rosan Segler. Um, this is a Margot wine from Bordeaux. And this label has actually um, been designed by the late Karl Lagerfeld. So, um, as you know, he, he sadly passed away recently, and there is no more stock available from the sellers. As soon as that happened, that was it, closed door. So very unique um, collection, particularly where you've got the three different formats. And then I think last but certainly not least, on the end there is the Chateau Margot, um, which is Paul Pontellier, um, who's um, owner of winemaker back at Chateau Margot's last vintage um, before he passed away. So um, a very special label uh, and, and again, um, a wine that um, has scored incredibly well. So if anyone has any questions, please feel free to come find me or happy browsing. Thank you. We were asked to bring some, uh, some Thing special like they, they always do uh, as you know they, they, they are very demanding uh, in their selection which we like because we are demanding with ourselves to make the best wine possible uh, so you will see different I mean so if we start from Chateau Lafitte Rothschild which is our icon which was the first property of the Rothschild family that we purchased in 1868 so there was quite a while back over 150 years ago uh, so we start with, uh, so we have three vintages uh, that they all finish with eight. Uh, so we have 1988, uh, 1998 and 2008. Uh, they're all in double magnums and obviously they all come from our uh, sellers. So there is nowhere else. I mean, we don't sell them uh, except today, uh, which we, we had. So we did some homework and we said we, we had different discussions. The team, uh, we came together actually with George, George Osterter from Company Medocain, uh, which is a partner, uh, what we call the Négociant from Bordeaux, so Bordeaux wine specialist, uh, that is, the, I would say, the, the eyes and the ear for us, uh, making sure that our wines are distributed uh, with the, the, the best partners. So George has been, uh, is always a key, key partner for us and for the DFS team, because as I said, they are very demanding, uh, but this, I think this is part of why we are successful. Uh, we are all demanding in the process, so it can be from us, from our side. Uh, we, our expertise is. Come to the champagne room. Um, so this champ this room actually houses six um, specially curated um, sets of champagne. But the most um, highlighted one is really this set, um, which is the Rare Le Secret. Um, now, this, um, is, this, these are three really, really special bottles because each one of them actually comes embellished with a, a precious stone of ruby, emerald, or a sapphire. Not only that, they are accompanied by 510 diamonds um, for every bottle and you will see all this platinum colored um, gold uh, platinum threads as well as gold threads now the platinum threads represent the minerality of chardonnay and the gold threads represents the intensity of pinot noir now these two grapes make up the blend of this um, champagne now this is a 1997 um, vintage of rare champagne now as some of you might know um, rare only makes um, champagne in very exceptional vintages and today there are, there are eight 
Now, 1997 brought um, Champagne a very, very bad weather. There was frost in spring and also lots of rain in summer, which is not good for the wines. So um, really, the, the, the um, Champagne House actually written off this vintage and said no making of Champagne this year. But the cellar master then, which is Regis um, Camus, he decided to make some in secret because he felt that actually there's some goodness in this vintage. So he actually um, secretly went and did a small batch um, and he sold it for two decades. And then two decades later, um, I think about two years ago, he said ta-da to the managing director and said, hey, look what I did. I actually secretly sell it these um, vintages, um, this 1997 vintage of champagne. And so he tasted it with the managing director. It turned out to be really exceptional. And on top of that, he made it such a way that it could really last a long, long time. So um, with that, the managing director had it in his head, hey, how am I gonna market these special champagne? So he happened to be watching French TV and saw a documentary on the world's oldest um, jeweler called the Malario. Now these, um, this Malario actually um, used to design um, uh, jewelry for even Marie Antoinette in the um, 1700s. Um, she was the last queen of um, France before the French Revolution. And he thought, hey, we actually have a lot of history. We have similar values. Maybe it's a good idea to commission them to help design something special for the 1997 vintage. And so he did. And so Malario came out with these beautiful pieces. Now there are only three of each stone in the world. Um, and on top of that, there's only one diamond. So that makes 10 bottles of magnums. And there's another 1,000 um, bottles of magnums that they actually created a gold plaque. Now each of these gold plaques are serialized with numbers from 1 to 1,000. Now because this is DFS 8th Masters of Wine and Spirits, um, DFS has the exclusivities of all the lucky numbers 8. Right? Now it's so special that even the muesli that holds down the cork, that's also pure gold. 24 karat gold. Um, so it's the first in technology for, for champagne. Okay, so I hope um, you get to enjoy the 2002 um, rare champagne tonight that we are serving our guests um, because it's one of the exceptional vintages. So please feel free to take some photos.